Okay, um, now it's around um, 20. So uh, I think uh, uh, we can, maybe I just do an, um, you know, just a brief uh, intro about uh, our speaker for today. Um, so uh, thanks for everyone joining uh, Screaming webinar. And uh, uh, we are glad to hold this webinar with Microsoft. And uh, today uh, we have Screen Bing here, team here uh, based in Taipei, uh, our APEC uh, head office. And so we have uh, Johnny Ling, who is our senior sales director uh, for APEC. And we also have, have F, uh, Albert Chan, who is our FAE manager, and myself, Joyce. Uh, I'm strategic alliance and marketing manager for, for the region. So, and we are honored to have uh, Kennedy a go from Microsoft, who is the uh, director of device, local device for uh, South Asia region and India. And uh, we are glad to have him here to give us an opening and talk about the wireless display and windows uh, and the teams. So may I have Kennedy to give us an opening? Yes, um, thank you so much, Joyce um, and the Screen Bean team. Um, uh, thank you so much for joining this session. Um, everyone is safe and well um, in respective countries and also in your company. Um, I extend the uh, well wishing to you, to your family, and of course to your colleagues as well. Um, thank you for your time. Um, definitely due to um, COVID-19, um, we are going to take this opportunity to drive more um, collaborations and also sharing on the technologies that can bring um, betterment to you, to your customers as well. Um, today's topic is actually introduction to a wireless display uh, with Windows 10 devices. Just to give you guys a bit of history, I have the chance to work with um, Screen Beam, previously named Action Tech, um, for the past six, seven years. And it has been a very complete journey um, of transforming all the way from Windows 8 to Windows 10 today. Um, today, while we are driving Windows 10 devices, uh, one of the few key things that we are looking at is enhancing enhancing our customer usage of devices, Windows and devices in particular. How can we drive these scenarios of uh, building a good meeting rooms, building a good collaborations, and building a good of our experience for the customers and for their customers' customers today? How can they drive that collaboration? Um, we, I feel very happy today. Uh, we have very good uh, situations, uh, scenarios that Screen being going to share with you. Um, with, with a good lineup of agenda. Guys, feel free to drop your questions. Guys, feel free to drop any of your questions through our TSA and also yourself directly in the live event Q&A sessions. And we'll try our best to reach out to your answer as much as we can. And if not, after the, the event itself. Okay, three scenarios that we're looking at today, definitely from a Microsoft Teams room per perspective, where a lot of um, work from home scenario, a lot of video conference scenario required today. And how can we enhance that with Microsoft Teams from down the road? How can we make that collaborative for branch office to talk to each other for how you and your customer can today reach out to each other without meeting that much due to the fact of um, hygiene scenarios, you know, health scenarios, and per se, while maintaining the productivity that we can have, you know, to drive the businesses and also drive the collaboration together. Remote learning, another very important point uh, for those with kids, for those with children, you would have experienced the sense that, you know, how can you drive remote learning? How can your kids, how can the children, even your nephews, your nieces, how can they continue learning during this uh, period of time? And we definitely see the fact that there will be even more of this requirement down the road. How can Screen Bean and Windows 10 bring the best out of a classroom scenario? How can we make the teachers teach better? How can we leverage on all the devices and technology that they already adopt? So Screen Beam and Microsoft, it, this is one of the key things that we can share. And the lastly is work from home scenarios where how can we enhance it to be better today? How can we bring these scenarios to life? And with the live demo that Screen Bean is going to provide to you, I myself is excited to see how can this evolve the work from home areas together for you, for your end customer, and of course for your customer's customer today. This is where we are looking at. So without wasting any more time, I want to pass on to Johnny. 
Johnny is a good old friend of mine. He's been in this business for the longest time, guys. So please give him more questions that you can give. Okay, I will put in the, all the potential leads, potential situations that you might want to discuss. I think that will be fantastic. Okay, over to you, Johnny, and thank you so much, others. <coughs> All right, thank you, Kennedy, for the uh, wonderful introduction, and uh, thanks to everyone who is uh, taking time to uh, to participate in this webinar. So let me give you a quick uh, introduction of Screen Bean before we actually do some demos and show you how you know um, useful our product is and how it can benefit you. So um, basically, uh, Screen Bean uh, is actually um, affiliate of uh, Action Tech, and Action Tech has actually been in the business since '93. And um, overall, we have um, actually been in the wireless display business since uh, for more than 10 years. And our key expertise has always been in networking. So this is actually enhance our capability to develop um, uh, technology related to, uh, to wireless display products. And uh, also a lot of our engineering resources are shared. So allow us to, um, to develop a lot of these um, technologies in house. And um, also, we have actually shipped more than a million uh, Miracast devices worldwide already. Some of the key customers who have already fell in love with um, uh, Screen Bean, uh, you can see on top is Microsoft, and we also have uh, uh, collaboration with Panasonic, Ericsson, uh, Nestle, Volkswagen, just to name a few. And uh, below are also schools based in the US where we have uh, also been managed to um, be adopted or deployed in the um, uh, education uh, scenario, where um, initially the requirement for uh, wireless display is much more apparent in the education space. And we want to highlight about um, our special partnership with uh, Microsoft. Uh, we are actually the gold standard uh, device for uh, Windows engineering. So this means that uh, any uh, laptop that uses uh, Windows uh, 10 Basically, when they want to benchmark their wireless display Miracast function, our products would be the device that, um, that would be used as the benchmark. Also, it very importantly, that um, we developed this uh, uh, UIBC functionalities where um, uniquely to uh, screen beam that we uh, enables interactive touch on the touch screen uh, function under Windows 10. Uh, and this is also without any uh, drivers or software. And very importantly, at, um, Screen Bean is actually the official uh, wireless display device for Microsoft in conference rooms uh, around the world. So this uh, actually brings us to um, our key flagship product, the 1100. Uh, this product was actually launched last year and has a lot of uh, special features, which is very attractive to the market. Uh, just to name a few, uh, this product has actually a built-in access point inside. It also has, supports our 4K video inside, and this product um, continues to be able to support multiple um, platforms without any driver software um, to work. And of course, it still continues to support um, the UIBC, the interactive touchscreen in this uh, uh, in the overall uh, usage. And overall, when we talk about um, having the access point inside, that means um, in terms of corporate um, uh, deployments, that means um, it can um, connect to corporate network and also uh, guest network at the same time. I will be showing you a quick chart of how this works in just a moment. And for the education solution, um, the 1000 EDU is very similar to the uh, 1100, which I just shown you. But the basic difference is that it does not have the multiple network uh, uh, connection. But this is more um, attractively priced for the education market, and it continues to also have the access points built inside. It also has the uh, 4K video um, display, and it also uh, allows for um, interactive touch in the uh, collaboration for education as well. And this is our um, uh, full soldier product, um, the mid-range 960, where it's been in the market for uh, more than three years but continues to be a very stable product where um, it, it, even though it does not su uh, support as high as uh, uh, the 4K, but it still supports very well in the 1080p. And uh, it also supports interactive touch screen. And uh, also it, uh, it is able to um, connect to multiple uh, 
uh, different platform as well. And this one has actually been very stable um, in deployment for both education and also in corporate uh, scenarios. And this is just a quick chart to show um, the different functionalities between the three models. Um, this uh, file we can uh, make it available uh, to the audience um, of this webinar, and then you can see it in more detail yourself of the difference between the three. But um, we just want to say that um, uh, all of them are very um, strong in terms of the wireless display um, functionality, and all of them are able to support multiple platforms without any uh, drivers or software, and all of them are able to support interactive touch. So let me just give you a quick um, walk through about uh, the 1100, why it is so special. Basically, it has actually two Wi-Fi cards inside. So, the, so internally, there's a um, uh, in connection of the corporate network via the uh, wired uh, ports, the Ethernet ports. But the second Wi-Fi card allows for the uh, device to, to bridge over to the uh, guest network. So therefore, if I am um, a guest user and I'm connecting to the guest network, the 1100 will be able to directly trans connect to the um, uh, guest network without infringing on the corporate network. So in itself, the network connection, whether or not you are an employee or you are a guest, okay, the internet traffic will be segregated. So you don't, or an IT person um, doesn't have to worry about a guest coming in and then uh, having the uh, having to open up a, a, a open on the firewall and allowing for connection. So this product here is actually uh, very uniquely uh, featured and. Uh, there's no uh, other product like it uh, in the world. We also want to um, in, uh, share with this um, uh, special feature about the AGO mode for all of our streaming products. So what this does is actually allows for the user to choose your own Wi-Fi channel. And this is very important, uh, particularly if you are in a multiple deployment situation, whether or not it's in the schools or in our classrooms or in the corporate uh, meeting space. So what you want to do is make sure that um, each room, okay, classroom or meeting room, have their own different uh, Wi-Fi channel, so to avoid interference. And additionally, this also, um, in a situation where the Wi-Fi environment is very dense, you can choose the channel that's clean and then allows for the best um, Wi-Fi connection um, uh, performance. And again, this is something that's uniquely to Screenbeam, and this is actually part of our overall expertise that we have from our parent company, uh, Action Tech, in terms of networking. Okay, this slide just gives you an idea how um, our interactive touch works, okay? So if you have a tablet device, let's say that you have a surface on the left-hand side and you have a uh, interactive touch screen, so whatever you draw onto the interactive touch screen, okay, will be synchronized back to your surface device. So this means um, what, whatever um, iteration of the written uh, work done on the, either the tablet or the big screen, that means it's actually part of the document and can be saved, retrieved, and modified later on. And this is, again, um, like I was uh, saying, this is a special collaboration between Microsoft and Screenbeam, allowing this, to, this functionality to work in Windows 10. And this, again, is uniquely um, between uh, Microsoft and, uh, and Screenbeam. And this is, going to be uh, something that's going to be even more and more um, important in future um, huddle spaces or future um, uh, education uh, usage. So I want to highlight again, uh, we have recently added uh, this multi-view mode to our uh, 1100 and 1000 EDU mode, uh, products. So this allows to up to four um, uh, devices to be connecting to the display at the same time. And um, again, this is no driver needed. So you can have uh, four devices using Windows 10 and then you can project at the same time for comparison. And again, uh, pin code and uh, you can have um, uh, naming, okay, to make sure that you're connecting to the right uh, receiver. And this is actually a very attractive uh, feature for our uh, education corporate customers. Next one, we want to also uh, mention about the uh, recently uh, added uh, digital signage function. So this means uh, when the device is not being used, it's in the standby mode. This means the 
uh, device can retrieve files um, from your server to continuously play back when the receiver is not being used. And this is very useful, for example, in a uh, school situation when the receiver is not being used, so it can be updating the latest classroom uh, information or latest um, school information. Or in the corporate environment, you can be in the uh, real estate um, uh, agency and then you can continuously play back on the latest properties about the spatials and, and different things that um, the company wants to promote. And again, no driver needed, okay? You just have to uh, go to the settings and then e and enable this function. Also important is that um, our product, because we are coding them, the, these are uh, enterprise corporate level products, so they can be managed, okay? So the software um, is free for the um, user, and this allows for uh, manage, remote management of the devices, tracking how they are used, uh, also updating of the firmware um, uh, remotely, and also we can uh, adjust uh, a lot of the settings like securities and naming for the each device by an IT person. And again, this can be done remotely, and this is actually something that's very useful for our functionality. And last but not least in my slide, we want to talk about the classroom commander function, which is available from uh, 1000 EU and also 1100. This allows for the teacher to be able to uh, manage and control the classroom of the student devices, up to 50 students. And important features here, including um, sharing of the screen between the teacher and also the student. Uh, also blank out the students um, when they are not behaving or if you want their attention. Uh, launching of the um, URL links to share the information with the um, uh, students and launch of the uh, uh, Microsoft app apps onto the uh, student um, uh, devices. Okay, and this also uh, allows uh, for auto rostering. Uh, we will be doing a quick demo of how this uh, functionality works. And that's pretty much of my slide. Uh, without further ado, let me pass over to my uh, colleagues. Uh, uh, Joyce and Albert for the next session. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, uh, Johnny. And okay, now uh, uh, everyone can see me, right? Um, I'm going to do a demonstration of three scenario. Uh, first one will be work from home, and secondly is back to the office, and last thing will be education. Okay, so uh, just imagine this is in the meeting uh, in your living room. Uh, and probably this is your dining table, and this is a TV uh, in the living room. And the way it connects is very simple. Uh, some of you uh, have already used it. You know how easy it is. Just click on the right hand side at the bottom and click connect. And your laptop will search the receiver name. And you can name your receiver uh, in different names. OK, so this one is uh, 1100 Enterprise. So here I just click. And within a few seconds, your content should wireless projecting to your TV uh, very quick. OK, and then. Let me go to the duplicate bolt. OK, so firstly, uh, we talk about work from home. So probably um, this is a situation uh, where most of you are in right now, but um, we are we are now in, in the office, so we can come together and then uh, arrange this. But how about you, if you are working from home, how can you do with your laptop and with your wireless display uh, receiver? Imagine I'm sitting in the in the living room, right? So with one, one uh, laptop and the screen being attached to your TV, First thing you can do is you switch on your front camera, right? Like this gentleman do. And then you can do the webcam at the same time. You project your uh, your content to, to the big screen using the extended desktop nodes and then to prepare your presentation for the next. And then don't forget you have second camera, right? You have second camera at the back of the uh, laptop, just like me. For some industry that require more live demonstration or uh, uh, interactivity, then I just need to switch on my camera. And uh, probably this is my work, my design. And then I just simply zoom in and zoom out 
using the function already in my laptop and the camera, I can either twist uh, my design into any angle or I can even walk around and do the presentation uh, to find a way, uh, the best way to present my work. Okay, so you actually can do a lot with your camera, which is already in your laptop. And next, I'm sure some of you um, have kids at home, uh, you know, with you. And how can you imagine to do with wireless display and do kind of family collaboration at home? Okay. For example, I'm the mother in the in the um, in the in the home, and then I have a kids, and I don't want my kids to feel bored and come to bother me. Okay. So I just use a unique extend desktop, which is only on Windows 10. And so I can simply just press here, project, and select extend. So now you can see uh, I'm actually showing two different content. Okay. So I can find the interesting, uh, you know, uh, the video on YouTube. Okay. And I drag. Okay. You can see I drag this video and just play the video. Okay, so my kids actually, you know, collaborating with me. Can you imagine at home? Okay. Okay, enough baby shock, okay? So next one I'm going to talk about is in go back to the office scenario. Okay, let me just simply twist my desk, okay? So same uh, functionality and the feature that you can do, uh, like you are in the home and in the office, that's why we, we say it's a seamless transition from home to the office, right? So in at home, except for those uh, features that we were talking about, I want to demonstrate to you is two. One is the quick switch, okay? And also the touchback function. So the quick switch allow the presenter uh, to switch between in between each other. Okay. So this is our. Oh, sorry, let me let me go back to the duplicate mode so you can uh, I can easily um, control the content. Okay. Also, this is our 1100, um, like Johnny just showed you. So before the pandemic. Right. This is the, how we have a meeting. We have people sitting next to each other, very close, and then everyone just, you know, look at the front. However, as you can imagine, after the coronavirus and when we go back to the office, it's nothing like before, right? Probably you have to wear masks during the meeting and keep some certain distance between people. And then have one of these play can easily achieve this objective and then just do easily uh, switch off uh, to the other. For example, I'm presenting my content right now, but I can have my uh, staff to present his content from his laptop. And now uh, Albert is helping me to do uh, the quick switch. So the way it connects is very simple. So Albert is actually just follow the way that I connect to the wireless display receiver. And uh, his content will be, you know, just show on the big screen. Okay. So everyone is actually seeing um, these uh, laptops content. Okay. And then there's a very unique function called touchback that Johnny just mentioned, right? It's only in between Microsoft and screen being is if you have a touch display, right? Then you can give the instantaneous feedback to your staff or even your colleague. Let me do the demo. So you can highlight, okay? And then you can give the comments or even a question mark to your staff's work. So as you can see, whatever I do is immediately feedback to that staff's uh, content. And these content can be saved uh, from the documents and then maybe they can uh, go back and then search more information and come back to the next meeting. So this is how we call touchback to give the instantaneous feedback 
to, to people who is presenting their content. Okay. So next one I'm going to introduce you is our education solution. And so now I'm, we are going to switch uh, to another wireless receiver. Okay, so uh, this is uh, you 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 just see you just imagine this is a, a class a teacher's laptop, and I have two students' laptop, right? Uh, because now we have restriction on the space, so you see these two two laptop is actually quite close to each other. But in a real case, you know you can put your laptop in whatever wherever place you like. But today, I'm not going to introduce you the scenario that you normally see in the classroom, right? This is a really a classroom layout. Instead, I'm going to demonstrate using this format because now it's all wireless. So you can actually change different layout of, uh, based on your, uh, your objective in the, you know, what you want to bring to the, to the students. So like this uh, scenario, for example, so teacher station is actually in the middle and I have six group of students with six table and each table has one laptop and I want them to have a collaboration among them and so I can you know project the content to the big screen and to share with other group of students. And now I'm going to do uh, the demo uh, just to show how it works. So now I already connect a uh, laptop to the screen bin as a teacher's laptop, as you can see from the big screen, I'm actually monitoring the student's laptop. Okay. And so I'm going to do a few things. For example, I can project students' content. So let's project one of them and just press project student screen here. Okay, so I'm projecting the student's screen right now. Uh, and then uh, I can also project different group of content, just one click button. Okay, give them the topic, uh, you know, I want them to have a discussion, 10 minute discussion to talk about how coronavirus impact the business environment in US. So if you have a link already have there and then let me show my screen. So because now because of the coronavirus, so we actually having a lot of free online resource, right? So when you go back to the classroom, you can simply just copy the link of that online document and then select student screen and share that link. For example, or type down the link. And then I will gonna do kind of broadcast to all the laptop stand. As you can see from this, uh, these two laptop, the uh, internet browser just uh, automatically pop up and keep running. And I can also do uh, either the private message or a group of message. Probably I want to talk uh, one of them. And then the student can, you know, interact with me. Like this. So this is our uh, solution for education. Uh, you find layout is, is very simple uh, because uh, we want the user to have the simplest uh, uh, applications in the classroom but and utilize and integrate with some apps, very useful apps, for example, Microsoft OneNote or Microsoft Whiteboard. You can have a collaboration not only just in the classroom, but also for students who are not in the classroom. So these are the end of the demonstration sessions. Um, just give you uh, some refresh. First one, we talk about work from home, right? 
So we talk about work from home, okay? You have front camera, you have camera at back, you can do a live demo for people who is in the call. And then if you have a kids, then you use extend desktop mode and you play the video so you can do like a family collaboration with them. And then we talk about back to the office, right? So before and after, so you have screen being in the meeting room to keep certain social distancing, but at the same time, using a quick switch and also the touchback function, you can do a collaboration as well. And lastly is the education. So the education solution allow you to change different layout based on your uh, syllabus or based on your design of the classroom because it now it's all wireless. OK, so that's it. That is uh, the demo live demo session. If you have any questions um, for the demo, OK, you want to uh, have uh, someone to visit you or even to arrange a demo unit, you know, you're welcome to leave your information and we will have local distributor to go and visit you or contact you uh, to, to, to help you. But I demonstration if you have any question with regard to anything or even for Microsoft then please have your question type down now uh, in the Q&A uh, box and we have a five minutes Q&A session that you are welcome to uh, you know leave your uh, info uh, leave your question or you know just send us email you know that all works okay so now let's see do you have any question here? Is that top? Let's see. I, I just uh, I just share uh, some useful link uh, for you to take away uh, back home. Uh, first one is I share with you the work from home scenario page with 960. And the second one I share with you is the battle card because I know uh, some of you are reseller or season grader and you most of you actually have used wireless display technology before. But today we are talking about commercial wireless display, not the consumer one. The consumer, the consumer one we were talking about is um, Apple TV, Google Chromecast, or even Microsoft Dongle. Okay. These are consumer solutions which, which are fine to use at home because you know, at home your Wi-Fi environment is not so busy. However, when you come to uh, the in enterprise space, then you have so much traffic in here. So you definitely have to choose commercial solution. So if you are interested and want to get the battle card from us, please uh, just leave your question by clicking the application link and then and then we will contact you. And last one I share with you um, is the technical uh, training session. We are planning on a series of training uh, uh, course for the partner. So if you are interested in taking the course and then please leave your information by clicking that link. OK, and if you have any question, I also have my email in here so you can just send me any any inquiry that you have. OK, so um, any questions that uh, uh, you want to ask, please uh, feel free to type down the uh, question and uh, our team is here to answer you the question. I can see some people is asking fine, that's good. So again, uh, this unique touch function is only on Windows 10 because we found the Windows Ink is very useful, um, not only just for my daily work, but I'm sure in education is really a game changer because only when they start to do and writing and then that can remember, they can remember, right? 
So Windows Ink is something that we shouldn't, uh, you know, forget. And then it's definitely going to be a trend in not, not only in the meeting room, but in the classroom. And there's one thing I didn't show is the full split screen uh, with the screen being uh, 1100 or uh, 1000. Then you can have four presenter to present at the same time uh, than using a Windows 10 device for split screen. see the time okay uh, one more minute then we finish this uh, webinar okay and if you um, if you haven't uh, thought about any uh, question right now it's okay you know just go back home and then uh, well you probably are already at home so just think about if you have any other question then you know just just send us an email okay I'll be fine Okay, so I think that is the um, webinar for today, and uh, we thank you for joining this uh, webinar. And thanks, Kennedy, for the opening and Johnny for the introduction of Screen Bean. And uh, uh, we will keep in touch. Thank you. Bye bye.